All right, this is some more of my collection that I have of the Vietnamese coin collection. So I have a little booklet. This is another one. This is one side. I don't really see too much of anything on this side. And then this is the other side. And see, it came in those little papers like this, 1881 to 85. And look at that. Those of you maybe can read the writing. let us know what it says just by leaving it in a comment. And of course I'd appreciate that because I'm not able to read that language. Let's see how they always had that hole in the middle and stuff because they used to put a rope right through it so they wouldn't lose their money. Money is very valuable, hard to come by. So I put it in a rope and put it in their pocket, tied it up to their the loop on their belt, on their pants. One of the belt loops. Just to make sure they didn't lose it when they bent down and did their heavy work. Alright. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And be sure to check out the description in this video. As I have three books up for sale. Two are true stories. One is my own true story of growing up on the farm. And what it was like to leave the farm. And enter the world I never knew existed. The other is a woodsman's story of what it's like for a young boy to go to the wood camps with his dad. You know, the days they rode the logs down the river back then. And the other one's a holiday classroom craft for teachers, grades K through 6. And you can read a little bit more about each one of these books right here in the description of this video, along with a direct link to ordering. So check that description out, click that link, get yourself a good read, and it gets delivered right to your home. Can't get no easier than that. And by all means, share this video with anyone who's Japanese, Vietnamese. They can all probably read this writing. That way we can find out what it says. Alright, bye-bye now.